on a recent adventure and an old hacienda I came across this key found it right on the surface and today I'm gonna have a go at cleaning it hey everyone I'm Memo and welcome to my channel finding Memo on today's video I'm gonna have a go at cleaning up this old key that I found at an old hacienda called Potesuelo. Oh my word, I cannot believe what I just found right on the surface. Kind of old key. Look at that. That is an old one. What on earth would that be to with that shape? That's an old key. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I can get that cleaned up pretty good at home. This is the key to an old padlock, probably around 1800s. See if we can get this looking half decent so stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video so i think the first thing that we're going to try is just a simple wire brush i'm going to do it very gently i just want to get the worst off the worst of the corrosion off of the key so we'll do the top first Now this is not going to come out like new obviously but I think we can get it looking a lot better just with a few simple techniques okay, it's starting to clean up now and be careful to try and preserve these teeth as best I can get a good idea what the key was actually like. I'm going to keep working on this and I'll be back in a moment. So this is how we're looking after a good old wire brush. It's already starting to come a lot cleaner. I also got in the gaps there with the end of this file just to get away, chip away any loose bits of corrosion and I think what I'm going to do now is take the Dremel to it and gently go over it with that and see if we can get a bit more of this scale off. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is after uh, going over it with a Dremel, with a little wire brush on the end. And you can see it's uh, come quite clean. I've got a ri rid of a l most of the rust color there. Um, I could probably take a file to it, maybe, and uh, get it a bit cleaner, but I think that might end up damaging it more than anything. So I think now, I was also thinking about putting it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm not going to do that because obviously that involves water. I think it's probably just going to make the situation worse. So I think what I'm going to do now is um, dry it out, like in the oven, really well, maybe a couple of hours, and then put some Renaissance wax on it and see if that... Um, kind of brings out the original color a bit more and it should protect it once we've got, made sure that there's no moisture in it. That's what putting it in the oven for because um, I want to get all the moisture out of it that might be in there. Also, while I was cleaning it, I noticed that it had this hole in the end there that I not previously realized was there. I'm going to see if I can get something in, down in there and uh, clean that out a bit more too because it looks like there's some rust still in there. Yeah, that hole goes quite a ways in. It's about that far in. What would that be? Centimetre and a half? Two centimetres, maybe? About half an inch or three quarters of an inch. That was definitely a feature of it, a feature of the key of the padlock. Let's head back over to the house, get this thing in the oven, get it dried out. This is my wife's air fryer and I asked permission <laughs> to use it <laughs> and I think we're just going to put it in here and do it as if it was french fries you can see there it's on the on the tray on the bottom and it should have its own timing setting so let's do Air fry, fries, and I think we just start. Yep, there it goes. We'll come back to that when it's ready. So the uh, reason that I'm leaning towards a padlock key for this key is because of the hole that it has in the end of it. And many padlocks have this little post in the center there where the key goes in. And I'm thinking that that's where the, uh, that would go into the hole that's in the key to center the key or seat the key correctly. But I don't think it's this kind of padlock because the key's way too long. You'd have to have a padlock that was super thick. Oh, there's another key that's kind of like the one that, uh, that I found. What I'm thinking is that it's more this kind of a thing, like a barrel padlock that uh, where the key would go all the way into the barrel. And then this part here, on the end is what opens up it, it hinges this way here's another example of a lock that's kind of uh i guess, I guess i'd call it a barrel style padlock i think that's what we're looking at with this key that it goes to something like that 
because all these other padlock keys you see how they're really short unless it was a lock where the key went up un underneath that's another possibility it could have been something like this where the key goes in the in the bottom that would give you a bit more room to accommodate the that whole key kind of like what's here i don't know if you can see that that's a similar thing right there to our key in fact that is pretty much exactly like our key so maybe that would be it okay let's have a look at this presuming this is going to be extremely hot because the actual machine is Oh yeah, that's scorching hot. Just pull that out. I have to let this cool down a while. Um, let's put it on some paper. leave that to cool down and then we'll put some renaissance wax on it okay it's almost completely cooled off now don't want to handle it too much and get grease from my hands on it i'm going to go and get the renaissance wax and we'll put that on give it a polish and see how it ends up so let's have a go at this with the renaissance wax I'm just going to uh, use a cotton bud and wipe it down, make sure we get into all the nooks and crannies. This is a special museum grade wax and what makes it different is it has zero acid in it so it doesn't um foment the corrosion at all it just seals the item that you that you're covering with it and it usually gives it a quite a nice shine to it quite a nice patina let's see what happens with this just make sure we get all the way in there Plenty of wax on it so you can always wipe off the excess afterwards. With this stuff it's better to do more at first. And then once it dries you can kind of polish it off. Shall we get inside there? edges on this back side too I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes probably five or ten minutes and then we'll give it a polish and see if it needs any more so we're back and the uh, polish here the wax is drying well just going to rub it there with the other end of the q-tip the dry end of the q-tip and get the worst off the excess shall we rub it in well Then I'm just going to use these Kleenex tissues to gently wipe, kind of polish at the same time. Seems to be working nicely. I really like the smell of this uh, Renaissance wax. Reminds me of uh, when I was a kid used to go to my grandma's house on Saturdays to visit 
and they had lots of um, brass ornaments around the fireplace and they would use a cleaner on them called Brasso. And this Renaissance wax to me smells just like that. So it's something that uh, sparks nice memories. <laughs> visiting with my grandma when I was a kid. Let's see what's in the hole there. It's probably not a bad thing. It's probably actually put that key is that put that on display in one of my cabinets and there you go key restoration old 1800s I think key restoration most likely from a padlock or maybe an old wooden door maybe a, an old chest Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. New content going up all the time. At least one video a week. Metal detecting adventures, how to's, reviews, and uh, videos like this one where we clean up old finds and see if we can get them looking new. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.